Hello, in this uh, part I would like to demonstrate to you the difference between mutex and uh, binary semaphore. So within this part I will create a simple example with uh, three tasks, one mutex and one binary semaphore and we will check what is the, the difference between the behavior once we are using mutex and the binary semaphore. Let's start with the creation of our components. So I'm starting with when stm 32 cube IDE, e you can use as well kubemix i start a new project so file new stm 32 project uh, my choice is stm 32 l4 76 mg which is located on the nucleo l476 mg board which i'm using for this uh, within this training uh, name of my project would be 10 underscore mutex underscore sam so mutex and semaphore, I click finish. Okay, so from hardware point of view, we would uh, we need only the debug interface with additional single wire viewer uh, line, so uh, a single wire output line, sorry. So I'm selecting within debug the last option have those three lines SWD and SWO line. Time-based source I need to change uh, from SysTick to Timer6. It is used for HAL libraries to specify timeouts and delays. As uh, SysTick is used by the operating system, I will change something different uh, for HAL library. Then within middlewares I'm selecting the freer toys uh, with interface CMC's version 2. Within uh, freer toys, I'm checking whether mutexes are enabled. It's okay. Then I need to uh, add three tasks. I would rename the default task by double click on its name uh, to task one. I would specify the priority to normal, uh, stack size 200, 156 words, and start task one as entry function. Then within the same tab, so task and the queues, uh, I would add two more tasks. So task, task two, the same priority, 256 words, start task two as entry function. Oh, I already made a mistake at the beginning, so it should be uh, start task uh, task one and start task one and I would rename this so the only thing I need to change is the entry function name to task two. Okay, and we need the third one. Task three. Priority normal. 256 words. Start task three as entry function. Okay, uh, we will enable as well uh, the mutex like before. So mutex is tab, mutex is part, click add, I would use the default uh, settings here, and I would need as well the, the semaphore. So I go to timers and semaphores tab, and within binary semaphore sections I click on add, and I, I would keep as well the default settings here. I can see that in the meantime I'm, let's say, exceeding the specified heap size for the free art OS, so I need to extend it within config parameters uh, from 3000 bytes to 4000 and now it is it is okay okay so that's all for uh, let's say cubemix part let's see the configuration part I can generate the code Okay, my code is generated. 
uh, main.c file is opened. If not, you can find it within core source main.c. Next point would be the modification of the source file to add necessary code. Okay, now we can continue with a code uh, modification. So I opened main.c file and uh, within this main.c file, if we scroll down, we can see all the definitions of the handlers. So the task handlers, three tasks, uh, then mutex and binary semaphore. Uh, if I go below, I can see as well the creation of the mutex first, then binary semaphore and the three tasks. Uh, so let's uh, go to our our code. We will start from uh, let's say start uh, st from task two, as this task uh, will continue quite similar operations like uh, in previous exercises. So in general, in task two and task one will share the same mutex we just created. Task three will continuously work without any let's say connection to this mutex. Uh, so let me start from uh, task free implementation. So first I would uh, let's say send uh, some sign of life. I'm using function task action uh, in my implementation, which you will see uh, a bit later. I'm using uh, ITM interface, uh, uh, which is using single wire output pin, which I selected during uh, configuration of the uh, debug interface at the beginning. I would like to send free over this interface. It will be visible within the console of instrumentation trace macrocell during debug session. After this, uh, I would like to keep this task active uh, for 500 milliseconds. I'm intentionally doing this uh, using HAL delay instead of OS delay due to the fact that OS delay would, um, let's say, send my task to the blocked one which I don't want to. I would like to have this task free as other tasks uh, as long as possible with an either ready or run state. Uh, so this is a task free and uh, let's say the implementations of uh, both other tasks. Uh, task two. Uh, task two implementation uh, would be the following. First, uh, I will try to collect the mutex. So OS mutex acquire. This is my mutex and the timeout. Uh, for timeout, I would use OS, OS wait forever. Uh, so wait control space forever. Okay. Then, uh, once I will get the mutex, uh, I would like to send my sign of life. Uh, this is task two, so it will be uh, number two. And uh, I would release this mutex. Control space and this mutex. After this, uh, I will keep this task uh, busy for half a second. So again, I will use HAL delay 500. And that's it. Uh, so similar code I would like to use within my task number one. But there would be a, a big difference. Uh, this difference I will locate here. And within my task one, I will do the following modification. I would like to keep the execution like for task task two uh, for first three iterations, and then I will decrease the priority of task one uh, while I would still keep the mutex. I will do it to demonstrate that um, we've got a built-in mechanism within mutexes, which would temporarily increase the priority of task one just to allow the release of the hold mutex. In next part of this exercise, we'll replace mutex with the semaphore and would we'll repeat the same example. And you will see that semaphore will block our tasks, task one and task two in the similar situation. So uh, let me implement uh, local variable, it will be 8-bit1 idx equal to 0 and then uh, here we will do a free idx and uh, here we will let's say uh, set priority, we need to change the priority of task 1 and the priority will be os 
priority low, which is much lower than using used one. After this, I will just increase IDX. Uh, so this is all code except of our task action. So task action. This is my example, of course. You can use your own implementation using, for example, um, uh, UART or if you have more LEDs, you can turn on some particular LED. I've got only one. This is why I need to select something more sophisticated. Uh, so I'm using I, uh, instrumentation trace macro cell uh, for this. So ITM send char to send single character and then uh, I would send as well um, sign of new line just to be sure that all of the information coming from the tasks are located in separate lines. Okay, I need to locate the prototype. Uh, the good place for it is this one, private function prototypes. And that's it. Our code is, code is ready. I'm building it. And soon I will start a debug session. I can see no errors, no warning. We can start a debug session. Okay, my board is already connected. I'm starting a debug session. So I'm clicking this bug icon. I would use uh, this SWV ATM data console. In case you do not see it, you can uh, select it using this quick access by pressing this SWV and you can select this line with the icon monitor here. Once done, you can check whether it is properly configured. So this uh, zero stimulus port selected and please start trace. After this, we can play uh, start display button. Let me pause. And let's have a look what is happening. I will try to display as well our code. Uh, so at the beginning we can see that uh, task 3 has been, let's say, selected by the scheduler, then task 2 and task 1. Then task 3, task 2, task 1, task 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so we can see 1, 2, 3, 4, four sequences like this. You, after, let's say, fourth occurrence of this uh, uh, sign of life from task one we are on this level on this on this line so the uh, let's say priority of task one has been decreased to or its priority in, uh, low so uh, as you can see below we cannot see any sign of life of this of this task anymore but please have a look that in this place uh, if we execute function like this scheduler would immediately switch our task to under other task with higher priority, so either task two or task one, and in our case it was task three. And uh, in this case, uh, if it will be not, uh, let's say, the mutex, what we will check in a minute, uh, we will have uh, the mutex hold within this task and not available anymore for task two. But as mutexes have uh, the, let's say, the priority inheritance mechanism, uh, scheduler increased temporarily the let's say, the priority of this task to allow it, let's say, release of this of this mutex. And then it, it was, uh, let's say, available for task two. And from this moment, we can see execution only for, uh, let's say, task two and task three. Task two is, uh, let's say, acquiring and then releasing the mutex, while task, uh, task three is uh, just executing the code. So those two tasks, task two and task three, are selected one by one by the scheduler. So it is as expected. Uh, in next exercise, I would replace the mutex with the binary semaphore, which just, uh, let's say, created at the beginning, and we will see the difference. So let's, uh, let's pause for a while. Okay, so let's come back to our code and uh, let's focus on those two tasks, task one and task two. Uh, so instead of the mutex, uh, I would use, let's say, the semaphore functions or as semaphore uh, acquire, and in our case, it is this binary semaphore, and I would use exactly the same, uh, so as wait forever argument. Okay, uh, I will comment out this mutex, and after the operation, I will 
release my semaphore OS semaphore release and this is our semaphore okay and uh, we need to comment this mutex operation and again the same the same here so i will just copy paste so first acquire of the mutex and then release uh, sorry not not the mutex this time but the semaphore uh, i would sorry just not to let's not to lose the code i'll copy those lines as well okay so we've got only semaphores semaphore uh, let me double check it's uh, at the beginning not taken the zero we can build the code and track uh, what is the the difference so i'm building it to check whether everything is correct perfect we are ready to start a debug session before we will start our debug session we need to do one more modification in this particular example uh, we will use a semaphores bit different way than we have done it already in a binary section please have a look that both tasks task one and task two are waiting at the beginning for the semaphore and there is no other let's say component which would give it at the beginning so the best way here in this particular example is to set the let's say the semaphore at the beginning to uh, let's say to be to be ready to be taken and then the first task will take it and then after its action it will release it so let's um, let's uh, try it once again so i'm building the application no errors no warning and i will now try um, to start a debug session so i press the back icon I switch to SWV ITM data console, which is already configured, start, start tracing and start my application. I can see, let's say it's executing. Now I can pause it. Please have a look. Um, the first four, uh, let's say, times I've got all three tasks. Three to one, three to one, three to one, three to one. This is the fourth sequence. So let's come back to the code. This is this location of task one we are at after this line and we are uh, let's say decreasing the priority of task one and please have a look that this task is holding already the mute uh, the semaphore this time and it's lowering the priority so scheduler is removing this task from ready state uh, to uh, from run state to ready state and it will now select uh, tasks to be executed from uh, task two and task three uh, task two in fact is waiting for the semaphore which is held by the low priority task one so the only candidate to be executed is task three both tasks task two and task one are in a blocked state forever so as you can see there is a big difference between uh, semaphores and mutexes mutexes are much more safer but what is really important here is that uh, once you take the mutex you need to give it back so the task which uh, let's say took the mutex it must be let's say the one which will let's say give it back okay so that's all for this uh, section for this part uh, thank you for watching this video